Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make these, which you can tell I've already been starting to dive into. They're really good. They're um, like an oatmeal bake chocolate chip um, muffin, I guess. Mine are a little bit not cooked all the way through in the bottom portion, but I took them out because the top was getting very crusty. So they're actually like a perfect snack and really good. So if you're interested in uh, learning how to make this, then go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing you are wanting to do is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then line a 12 cup muffin tin, which I've done here. And I just put the little, um, the little papers in them. This one says princess. I'm trying to use the ones I have. So um, in a large bowl, First thing we are going to do is to put our oats, cinnamon, baking, what am I doing, baking soda and salt. So I do have my oats over here, They're like in a huge container, so I'm just going to ooh, try to portion them out. So these are going to make 12. So the oats that I have, um, I think, hold on. Oh, the, yeah, the old fashioned oats. Um, so we'll do one and two. And I think I did a little too much on that one. So we'll go a little low on this one. Three. So our oats are now done. Put that back. Okay, next we are going to add a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So, let me get a half teaspoon. Okay, so this is um, one tablespoon. Wait, what am I doing? One teaspoon. Here's one teaspoon, so I'm gonna do a half of this. And I'm just going to unscrew the cinnamon. Oh, it doesn't come out. Hold on. I'm gonna kind of Try to do this the safe way. We'll do about half there. Okay. Next ingredient, we'll do the baking soda. So um, we're gonna do like a little less than a teaspoon. Not a lot of this at all. Just need something, I guess, for it to like, oops, that's way too much to stick to. So maybe like that much, really not a lot at all. And then we're going to do salt. And salt, we need a half teaspoon. So I'm just gonna try. That's probably good. All right, so that is what our dry ingredients are. Then we're gonna do the wet ingredients. So let me go ahead and just stir this up. Put this aside. Now we're going to get our smaller bowl and put our wet ingredients. So the first thing is going to be milk. It's one and a half cup. So. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I have enough milk. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that beforehand. So I'm gonna measure this out. We'll do one and a half. I feel like that's a lot of milk. And then next, let me put the milk away. So the next ingredient is going to be, it says to use flaxseed, but I'm not going to use that. Um, and then mashed banana, maple syrup, peanut butter, and vanilla. So the maple syrup, we're going to do a fourth cup. Um, I just used Miss Buttersworth, so I'm going to do... 
And I'm almost out of this one, which is good. Get rid of this container. I'm assuming this is gonna make it like sweet. So, put that in there. And peanut butter, we need two tablespoons. So, we need two. So here is a tablespoon. I just used Jif peanut butter because we're kind of making this healthy, kind of not. <laughs> so we'll do one. And these are obviously going to be like sticky consistency because they are going to be like muffins kind of. And, oh, this peanut butter smells so good. Two. Okay, I may take a banana and like get the rest of this out with a banana. Okay, and then we need uh, vanilla, one teaspoon. So I'm gonna use pure vanilla extract. Oh, I can never get this open. Oh my goodness, okay, we're just gonna twist it. So what did I say, one teaspoon? Of pure vanilla extract. In we go. And last but not least, a mashed banana, which I probably should have done this before I put all these ingredients in, but I don't really think. So I'm just gonna smash my fingers through the banana, and I may not use this whole banana actually. I like banana, but not that much. Hmm, yummy. Okay. So, there's that, I'm gonna take my spoon and mix this all together and I'll be right back. All right, so I just combined the ingredients into my dried ingredients, my wet ingredients into my dried ingredients. So we're going to stir everything up. It actually smells really good. Um, seems like a little bit wet of a consistency, but hopefully the oats will soak it up, which I think they will. Um, okay. So then next, um, we're gonna put in an eighth cup of chocolate chips. So I think you're supposed to do mini chocolate chips, but um, I don't have many. I'm just gonna put, you know what? I have like a bag here I need to finish. I'm gonna put the whole bag. <laughs> so that was almost a half cup of chocolate chips, but honestly, I could probably put more if I wanted. And then I just put it in that same container that the maple syrup was in, just to get all the maple syrup too. And then we're gonna stir this in. I feel like my, my um, stuff was a little bit too wet. I feel like maybe there was too much milk or not enough oats, I'm not really sure which one. Okay, so there is that. What we're gonna do is scoop it evenly into the, um, muffins muffin tray and then put a few chocolate chips on top of each muffin and then we are going to bake this for 30 minutes 30 to 35 minutes or until the center is set and i will be back so i took them out of the oven probably about 15 minutes ago and just kind of been letting them sit here because they were very hot but this is what the final product looks like i haven't even taken them out of here yet um I did end up cooking them for 32 minutes and I still don't know if that was long enough since you obviously saw that they were very runny. Um, they're still kind of wet on the bottom, which actually kind of makes me nervous that they're not cooked all the way through. But let's just check here. So as you can see, they are still kind of um, wet in the middle but crispy up here so I think they'll be okay um, I haven't tried them yet but 
Um, kind of a mess on the bottom, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you like these videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!